Welcome back, guys. So much, so much to talk about. So I'm going to run through this pretty quickly. This was the week before my first bodybuilding show this this year, Yosemite National Park. Pretty cool that it's only about three and a half hours from my house. So we definitely need to take advantage of this more often. So typically, the week before a show is, is when we start our peak week. But, you know, I didn't feel like I was in what I would consider optimal shape, effective shape for myself. Um, too much body fat, still, believe it or not. Uh, I know a lot of you guys give me grief about that, but that's the honest truth. Um, so we didn't fill out uh, or replenish glycogen stores this week. If anything, we kind of depleted them a bit with, with some extra hiking here and there, some bonus cardio, I guess. But what did need some work was my head game. So we kind of uh, went there to get away from it all. This was That was Saturday morning when we drove into the park. This was, the I think, the two days afterwards. Yeah, I think this was Monday. Um, and as you can see, we got to see the park from two different angles. That was pretty cool. But all in all, the trip did its job. I felt wonderful. I'm happier than I look in this picture. Everything at peace. Uh, the head game regenerated. And after that, it was it was back to the grind. The NGA Pro Atlas in Boise, Idaho was, was on my mind. And um, this was a show that I did in 2011. I finished fourth. Was not too pleased with that. And I kind of wanted to go back. And make up for that lousy outing. And I think I did. Um, and I think even more importantly, you know, besides feeling like, hey, I could probably place a little better at this show, I also wanted to confirm to myself that I had made some good improvements since 2011. Melissa getting a little bit worried there about that grinder set. Um, no peak week. I just basically ate, ate a little extra the night before. A uh, elk burger and some, some yogurt. My boys, Craig Toth. Francisco, uh, and we rocked it. We represented pretty hard on that stage, um, and I was pleased most of all with how well you know my physique has come along the last few years, in particular my back. And for the first time ever, at least on a pro stage, I was the last man standing, and gotta admit that felt pretty cool. The title of professional bodybuilder, so they too will be receiving some prize money along with their award tonight. Here we go, fifth place, men's bodybuilding pro. That award is going to go to competitor 77, Roger Shive. That award to competitor 78, Corey Rudd. Third place, please take that award to competitor 73, Rodney Hawthorne. Craig and Alberto, who's it gonna be? <laughs> Your runner-up in the men's bodybuilding pro division. Second place award. Please take that to competitor 74, Craig Toast. Your champion. Competitor 76, Alberto. All right, guys, hit one of those nasty, grainy, vascular, strided poses for the crowd. Make some noise for your men's bodybuilding pro division. Tonight, anybody you want to thank? Uh, my mom, Melissa, and uh, just my family. By family, I mean everyone like yourself who's, who supported me along the years. You guys serve as just the right amount of pressure, motivation, and it's helped me get here. So thank you guys. Now last night, Alberto, we were asking all the ladies what they were going to go eat after the show tonight. I see what this guy eats every day, and I, can, I can't imagine what could be better than what you eat every day. So anything on the menu tonight? Oh, I, I need a dogfish IPA 120 <laughs> minutes. If anyone knows where to get that, let me know. All right, congratulations, Alberto. Very next week, it was back to the grind. The NPC Contra Costa, pretty much the nastiest NPC show you can pick out here in California, as if NPC California wasn't competitive enough. Uh, as you can see by the chalk in my back in the first picture, I squatted the day before, maxed out actually. Uh, weighed in. Carved up in the same fashion, no peak week. Um, 
showing okay. I finished in the top five, which was basically what I was going for. I wish I wouldn't have cruised as much into this show and maybe been in slightly better shape because it would have been really cool to go up there for, for the overall. But uh, Francisco, myself, Amanda, our sponsored athlete, 3D Muscle Journey, we did well, really well, I think, all in all, and represented the team quite well. Shots taken by Brandon Wells. Um, and again, I was pleased with where we are at, considering the fact that we're not all the way done cooking yet. Um, so I guess this the, the, the next question is, what's next? What's happening now? Uh, and why am I not reporting everything in great detail? There we go. And we're not hiding behind video or, or any kind of uh, uh, media clips. And um, it's a little nerve-wracking. It, it's been a while since I've actually done something like this with you guys. And as you can see, looking pretty raggedy. But I think most of uh, my lifters out there know that we have lucky clothes that we just kind of you know, keep around because um, it, they, they've uh, they withstood the, the, the test of time and, and many PRs. So the, the main reason that I haven't been, I guess, uh, going through my journey and, and knowledge detail and keeping you guys up to date with uh, a lot of the details, um, you know, I, I think that, well, my, I didn't want to admit it because sometimes I feel that, you know, there, there's, there's enough uh, pressure out there. I put too much pressure on myself. Um, and to tell you the truth, most of you guys, all of you guys, to tell you the truth, I've, I, I am, I'm constantly humbled by just how much uh, positive feedback and support I get from, um, from the masses out there, or what we would constitute as the masses in, in natural bodybuilding. Um, <clears throat> so I'm very thankful for that. But still, you know, I was, I, I was, I knew that going into this season, there were some prerequisites that needed to be completed before I could even get started on my goals. And my goals were to, it's kind of, kind of silly. Um, I wanted to compete in the NPC Team Universe, which would require me, you know, I'd have to qualify for that. And then I wanted to compete in USAPL Nationals, and that required some qualification, which. Um, you know, there was no qualifying standard for USAPL Nationals, but um, <clears throat> I guess just the, the goal itself being pretty, uh, it's, it's almost an, an, an oxymoron to people when, when you tell them that, hey, you know, I'm still a competitive strength athlete while, um, uh, you know, being deep into a bodybuilding um, contest, you know, a contest prep. Um, so I wanted to kind of, I wanted to do those two things for sure. And I got those done. I qualified, to tell you the truth. Qualifying for the MPC Team Universe was a bit more uh, nerve-wracking than, obviously, the USAPL uh, Nationals qualification, which did require traveling, but still, it was just show up, hit your lifts. Um, and I wanted to qualify at the, at the NPC Contra Costa, and I wanted to do it in that show because it's, it's, it's a nasty show. There was 15 middleweights in, uh, in, uh, in my lineup, and basically... I mean, when they lined us all up, it, it looked like I was the center of the basketball team. I could see the top of every one of their heads, uh, and I'm pretty sure I was among the lightest in, in that uh, category, so I was towards the end of that weight class. Uh, but I wanted to qualify there because I felt that if I qualified there, then, you know, it wasn't um, that, that then I can possibly do well in the NPC Team Universe, which is a, um, a tested... Um, I don't know what the ban the ban list is, but it's 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 uh, it's it's a tested um, NPC national level uh, show, which means that the over the winners of the overall get to compete for an IFBB Pro card. Um, I'm not looking that far ahead into it, but I just I want to go to that show and do well. I want to go to USAPL Nationals and 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 do well. I, I want to personally for USAPL Nationals just because I'm not um, when it comes to competing. My powerlifting and my bodybuilding, they're, they're, they're on very different levels. And you guys don't have to be, you know, nice and say, oh, no, you're, you're strong. Because I'm really not compared to a lot of the guys out there. But, um, I, you know, I want to go out there and, and, and put up a personal best, a, a, a personal best on, on, on that there Wilkes. Um, which means, you know, just uh, be very efficient in terms of pound-for-pound uh, pound strength. Um, so yeah, those those are those are the goals. Uh, IFPA Pro USA, and then um, I'm gonna hike up Half Dome for the sixth time in my life. So this is what July looks like. So check this out. I'll leave it here. Um, July is gonna we're, I'm gonna have the 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 NPC Team Universe. 
uh, that's going to be July 5th and then July 12th I'm going to have the, the, the not IFP now it's uh, WNBF Pro USA which is the show that's um, run side by side the pro portion of the Muscle Mayhem so uh, I'm going to have the Team Universe WNBA, WNBF Pro USA and then a few days later I'm going to fly out to Colorado and um, take part in the USAPL Nationals. And then I'm going to go on a very treacherous hike and, 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 and scale up Half Dome for the sixth time, which is, I think, it's like an 18-mile round trip. Uh, but that's my July. Those were my goals. That's what I wanted to do with myself this season. Again, it required me to complete a few tasks before I could even get to work on those. But here we are. We made it. And, uh, again, I'm very thankful for all the support I get from you guys just uh it's it, it's been amazing uh the support the patience with the fact that i haven't kept you guys up on the details um so yeah look forward to just really uh, being a lot more transparent with what i do how the work gets done the good the bad the ugly um and um and finally um showing you guys i guess what um i feel i am i am capable of um so here goes nothing and uh these next next few weeks should be uh, uh quite challenging but also uh, a lot of fun so time to to empty out that tank